Hey, what's up, Sean here. And over the past several months, I've made many functional web shooters from different suits, movies, and video games. And throughout all those videos, probably the most common question I get asked is, Sean, can you make a web shooter without magnets? Or can you make a web shooter without springs? Or something along those lines. And if that's you, you're gonna wanna keep watching this video because I made this video especially for you. Unlike many of my other web shooters, I made this web shooter using very, very basic materials. I didn't use any magnets or any springs Rings. All I used to make it shoot are rubber bands. So if you've never made any of my web shooters before, then this one would be a really good one to start with. Since I know that there is a lot of you out there looking for something easy to make, this time I really tried to simplify a lot of the detail work and, and shapes and whatnot, so it's a lot less intimidating than some of my other web shooters. As I've recently discovered, the internet is very hard to please, and I get a lot of comments saying that my projects are too hard, or why don't you make something easier? I hope this video satisfies you because I really tried to make this one as beginner friendly as possible. Before I show you how I made this web shooter, a word from our sponsor, Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. With Audible, it's easy to find just the right listen, whether it's self-development, science fiction, comedy, or the dozens of other genres available on Audible. Now is the best time to try Audible because with Audible's holiday offer, you're getting their best offer of the year. Get Audible Plus for just $4.95 a month for your first six months. When I'm making these videos for you guys, I'm always listening to something in the background, whether it's a podcast or a YouTube video or a movie, an audiobook. I always want... You want experiments, not perfection. Right, so I put automations in place. Not everything is like your special sauce. Oftentimes when I'm working on a project, there's a lot of mindless work that goes into it and it can get pretty boring. I'm sure you can relate when you're working out or commuting to school or doing chores. Audible will make those mindless tasks so much more fun and stimulating. Right now, I'm currently listening to Every Tool's a Hammer by Adam Savage, who famously hosted Mythbusters and is someone who has really been a huge source of inspiration for me for my creative work. So get your first audiobook for free and a 30-day free trial when you sign up at audible.com slash Sean's Crafts or text Sean's Crafts to 500-500. In the description box below, you'll find my free downloadable templates that you can use to make your own PS5 web shooter, and I also included links to all the materials I used down there as well. To start this web shooter, we'll make the base out of some cereal box cardboard and layer on some thin craft foam on top. Now, if you're gonna make this, I recommend using the darkest color of craft foam that you have on hand. In my case, it was blue, but even better would be just to use black. That way, if you miss any areas when painting, it won't be as noticeable. Now, I took an old pen that I had laying around and removed the ink tube from it, then cut that down to about half an inch. If you don't have a pen like mine, you could even just roll up a paper tube for this. Next, I made a small slit right in the middle of the tube like this, and the whole idea here is we're gonna make a locking mechanism that looks somewhat like that, but more on that later. Moving on, I wrapped a thin strip of paper around the end of the tube here and secured it tightly with super glue. Then I sliced off about half of that paper that I just wrapped around to make it look a little something like this. At this point, we'll need to make a small piece out of a popsicle stick, so I'll just use my knife here to make an initial indent, and then I can kind of poke the rest of the way through with this push pin. And this piece is pretty fragile, so let's cover that in super glue. As you can see right there, I made two small little notches in the popsicle stick and then cut that whole thing down to a little square like this. Now we can attach this popsicle stick to the tube using a small rubber band and essentially what happens here is when that popsicle stick lowers down, it'll release a bullet and all that string will spew out. You'll see that more in action later on. Alright, well now it's time to make this small little box compartment here that will basically hold all the string inside it before it all shoots out of the web shooter. Next thing we need to do is just glue that entire tube contraption that we just made onto the inside of the box like this and then I'll just close off that box by adding that small piece of cardboard right there. While that was drying, I made two little popsicle stick pieces that sort of connect together to form one big piece, and the thing you wanna watch out for here is before you glue those popsicle sticks together, you just wanna kind of fit it together like this so that you have those two popsicle sticks positioned at the correct angle, and then from there you can combine all those pieces together like so. And then at this point, we can glue this whole thing together like I'm showing you here. To make the barrel, I rolled up a small slip of paper and after that I'll make a few simple measurements so that I can basically cut out a little opening in the tube here. Now what that opening is going to do is, since there's going to be string shooting out of that barrel, that big opening is going to provide less friction between the string and the barrel because the string will have a larger opening to fly through if that makes sense. Once that paint dried, I simply glued the barrel to the web shooter like this. 
Now let's make some of the details that are on this web shooter. So to do that, I'll start by sticking some cereal box to craft foam and then I'll cut out this piece which we can paint red and attach to the front of the web shooter. In addition, there are these other red pieces that I made out of cereal box cardboard which get glued onto that black box in the middle there. Moving on, let's cut out this tiny little popsicle stick piece right here and glue that onto the web shooter right there. Make sure you leave a tiny little gap right in between there because we're gonna need that little groove there so we can attach a rubber band and doing it like this will make it really easy to replace the rubber band if it breaks as you can see. If you peel corrugated cardboard you'll see inside that there's this sort of nice ridge texture which is perfect for what we need here so let's glue that right there. And then another really simple piece that gets glued right here. Alright, and the last little bit of detail I added was this thin piece of craft foam that runs along the edge of the web shooter like that. And that's about it for the detail work. That's all we did on this one. It's very simple and straightforward. So I hope a lot of you out there decide to make this one as it's very, very beginner friendly. And of course, go ahead and add some Velcro closure so you can wear it. Uh, if you don't have Velcro, you can use something else like rubber bands, for example. So to actually be able to shoot this web shooter, we'll need to feed a string through that hole in the popsicle stick there. And that way we can pull on the string to lower the popsicle stick down and release the bullet. I used fishing line for this, but if you don't have fishing line, you can just use any other string you have really. Uh, I just use fishing line because it's transparent and less noticeable. Now let's go ahead and make the bullet, which is that thing that's going to shoot out of the web shooter and drag all of that string behind it. So for that, I'm going to use a bamboo skewer here. And what you want to do is apply some super glue to the very tip of that bamboo stick. And once that hardens, you can really easily carve out this little notch here, sort of like you would see on a bow and arrow. And again, put more super glue on that to really strengthen it. And now I'll just make this half inch mark here and cut out a little notch on the bamboo skewer, but this time on the shaft of it. Basically what's going to happen here is that notch on the bamboo skewer is going to get caught on the popsicle stick that's inside the ink tube. And when we pull on the fishing line to lower the popsicle stick down, the bamboo skewer will shoot out of the web shooter. For the web string, I decided to use some crochet thread, but you could even use dental floss or any other string of your choice. All I did here was just glue that string onto the end of the bamboo skewer and secure it with some super glue. The last thing we need to do is make a small paper tube which will make it easier to reload the string. And now we're ready to reload, so the first thing you need to do is wrap the string around the pencil from top to bottom. Once all that string is wrapped around the pencil, you want to stuff all that string down into the tube like this. And from there, insert that small tube from the bottom of the web shooter. Now I can slide that bamboo skewer into the barrel and then line up the rubber band with that groove and then just pull back until it locks in place. So there you have it, an easy web shooter with no magnets and no springs like many of you requested. If you liked this video then I'm sure you'll enjoy my previous video as well which was a functional Spider-Man mask with mechanical lenses, so click or tap the screen to check out that video. Thank you very much to my patrons and to Audible once again for sponsoring this video and helping me continue make these videos for you all, so do me a favor and go show them some love by using my link and getting your first audiobook for free and a 30 day free trial. 